We've got 16 sculptures. Uh, we, we have 14 international, nationally and internationally known artists who um, have been juried into this show and we've, we tried very hard to have something for everybody. I think we've succeeded with that. We have whimsical sculptures and interactive sculptures and uh, narratives and um, just something um, for everyone. I really love talking about this art with children because each piece has something that they can um, relate to. And some of them are geared for children. Um, we've got one down there that's um, inspired by the Wizard of Oz. We've got these big dogs made out of clay. There's a lot that children will enjoy and learn about. The clay dogs, the tallest one is seven feet. Mark Chatterley is the artist and he's the only one that has um, turned hand-built clay sculptures into outdoor sculpture material. He made these for our exhibit. I contacted him and said we would love to have some dogs. So these are exclusively for the Perrysburg Sculpture Walk. The butterfly one is called Metamorphosis by Mike Sohikian. Mike Sohikian is a former iron worker and that butterfly is composed of um, probably a hundred small butterflies that were hand cut, flame cut out of steel um, and then welded together individually. And the base piece that makes it turn is from the old Jeep plant. It was part of their conveyor system so it turns. So the person, the viewer, can turn it themselves or they can wait and watch it turn from the wind. But it has one wing and one arm. So when it's turned it appears to be metamorphosizing. This is a sculpture by Jack Howard Potter. It's a narrative on saving the earth and it's a figure hugging the world. It's, its message is we can do this, save the planet. We've got my pie out on East Boundary. It's 12 feet by 10 feet. It's a huge sculpture and it's in the symbol of pie. And I, I think we're going to have a lot of fun with it on Pie Day. There's an interesting story about Gandhi, if anybody has seen the recent news um, about the man that just turned 100 and he's making, he hand carves crosses. He's from Gibsonburg. And um, his name is Tony. And Tony was the model for the Gandhi. There's a lot of uh, narratives in here that all connect to making our world a better place. Gandhi, there's a heart on the corner of East Boundary in 795. There's um, King of Hearts, um, which has a heart in it. And uh, questions down there is um, about contemplating. Um, it, it's an interactive one. You can go inside of it and, and just, you know, have a thought and go through and just kind of take a moment. So there's, there's a lot of backstories and things that are woven into this as a narrative.